helicopters and armoured personnel carriers moving in eastern Ukraine. At least 10 armoured vehicles were seen north of Slovyansk and two helicopters circling the area. 48 hours after acting Ukrainian President Alexander Chechenov ordered the resumption of military operations against pro-Russian supporters, clashes. Ukrainian security troops moved against pro-Russian forces near Slovyansk, killing at least two of them in checkpoint fighting both sides have confirmed. Slovyansk itself was quiet, checkpoints inside the city abandoned. There were conflicting reports from the southeastern city of Mariupol, where Ukrainian troops say they retook city hall from occupying pro-Russian protesters. Local police officials and protesters told the Associated Press that about 30 masked men armed with baseball bats stormed the building in the early hours of Thursday, beating the protesters. That drew condemnation from Russia. What is going on now is the result of the irresponsible politics, which I repeat rely on the ultranationalists, extremist and mainly neo-Nazi groups. The Ukrainian government and the West, who have accused Russia of directing and supporting the insurgents, worry that Russian President Vladimir Putin would welcome a pretext for a military intervention in eastern Ukraine. We continue to see uh, militias and uh, armed men uh, taking over buildings, harassing uh, folks who are uh, disagreeing with them. Putin denies that any Russian agents are operating in Ukraine but insists on the right to protect the ethnic Russians in the east. One more sign of growing tensions, yet another set of Russian military exercises announced for the border with Ukraine. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.